okay so hey guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i don't really know how to start this but today's video is just basically you coming along with me to get surgery um yeah i'm getting surgery today it's not it's not nothing major or anything i just have a cyst on my hand that needs to be removed so that's what i'm gonna get done today and i just wanted to take you along because you know that's i, I look like i have no hair but i have hair look it's a little tiny pony don't try to play me. Anyways, I just wanted to take you along because, you know, it's just like a part of my life. And I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's called Joelle's Journal. So I just want you to, like, see, like, what's actually going on in my life and stuff like that. So that's what's happening. I'm getting surgery today on my hand. Well, my wrist. Left wrist for a cyst that I have in my hand. Um, I don't know if you can see it. That's how it looks. That's the cyst. So that's what i'm getting removed today um i don't know what else to say thanks for tuning in make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you soon because i'm actually about to leave i think it's like 8 50 and i want to leave at 9. the place i'm supposed to be at is low-key far from me so i'm gonna take an uber there and be there by 10 because that's the time i'm supposed to be there and yeah I'm actually waiting for my boyfriend to come because he's supposed to call me. I needed someone to pick me up afterwards. So we're just going to go there together. And then it's it's a one day procedure. So it's not like I got to stay in the hospital for like dumb long. So I know I'm probably talking too much. I'm going to just, you know, get on with the video. I guess I'll talk to you when I'm an Uber. I'm on my way there. And hopefully I'm not too late. I'm not going to be late. Whatever. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm in Uber now. On my way there. Hopefully I get there on time. These Uber prices be wallin'. And yeah. Talk to you later. And I had to take out my tree gets pierced and I totally forgot about that. So right now I'm just waiting for the um doctor and uh anesthesiologist. I'm pretty sure. And I'm so tired. I thought it would be a good idea to stay up all night, but right now it's not it's not a good idea. I'm tired. That's what's going on right now. Oh, you didn't give me a heated blanket. Like I'm in a nice hotel or something. The blanket was nice and hot. <laughs> Go get surgery, y'all. Cause you get a heated blanket. I've been here since 10 o'clock. I was sleeping, then I woke up because the doctor came and marked my hand. And now I'm waiting again. And now I got this needle in my arm and it's just like bothering me so bad. And I hate it. it Making me feel so uncomfortable. I feel like I'm paranoid because I don't know if it's like burning or something like that or I'm bugging. Like I don't want this. I want to leave, honestly. I'm tired. They need to have you up because it's ridiculous. Hey guys, I'm back. Today is actually the day after I got my surgery. Um, the day of the day that I got my surgery, I just was chilling. I needed to chill. Like, I was just, um, what was I doing? 
I was just laying in my bed. As soon as I like got home, I got undressed and I went to um lay in my bed and I just chilled. I got some Domino's because I wanted them brownies very badly. But yeah, that's all I did. Okay, I'm gonna just tell you like the little stories um during like what was going on or whatever. So I got there right um that I don't feel like I even remember. But I got there and I had to sit in like a waiting room waiting for them to call my name and I went back to a little room like a little you know area where they have the curtains or whatever and then it's just basically was like um so you have two gowns in here put one on the front and then put one on the back and so obviously you won't be exposed and I had to get like um naked and whatnot and they and yeah so I did all of that I look crazy, mind you. What is that? I look crazy. I did all of that. And then um, another nurse came in and she was just asking me a whole bunch of questions. I guess basically the protocol before having surgery or whatever. So she did all of that. And then mind you, the night before I stayed up because I was scared like I was going to fight the anesthesia. So I tried to stay up to make myself as sleepy as possible. So once the anesthesia hits, I get knocked out. So that's what I did. And after the the nurse asked me the questions, I was tired. Mind you, my surgery was at 10 o'clock. I got there but like 9.55 or something like that. So I was tired. The nurse asked me questions after she left. I was just waiting. It was basically just like a waiting game. And then I started to fall asleep. So I fell asleep and I woke up and then the um the surgeon came in and I looked at the time, it was 12 o'clock. I'm like, sir, like, what are you doing? Where are you? Like, come on, let's get it together, you know, type stuff. So yeah, he came in and we was talking for a little bit about like what was gonna happen and stuff. And he just marked my hand. He put his initials on like the top part of my hand and like the lower part, like around where he was gonna actually do the surgery. He did that. And then he was just like, all right, we just gonna get you prepped for surgery soon. I'm like, all right, bet. And then another nurse, the anesthesiologist, she um, came in and put the needle in my arm. Bruh, I hated that. But yeah, that's what she did. She came and put the needle in my arm. Then another guy, another anesthesiologist he came in and then he was just asking me questions as well and he just basically rolled me out on a bed and to the or to the operating room it was like white it was so white in there and it was just like mad machines and stuff and both of the anesthesiologists um you know how like it's the needle and then like is they just keep the needle in your arm but then it's like two wires that connect to like the iv or whatever that they have so she was like um i'm gonna start giving you the anesthesia and she said it might be like a little slight burn i didn't feel nothing or whatever and i was up and stuff next thing i know i was waking up afterwards i think i woke up in the or room first and it was like getting me like situated and then i went back to sleep then i woke up again and i was like in a recovery room and then I, I remember I was so cold, like I was shivering. I was so cold. And like when I get cold, my jaw clenches a lot, like like mad tight. And I hate that. So I'm just like, I'm so cold, I'm so cold. And then the, um, the recovery nurse who was there with me, she gave me like a tube of hot air. A tube of hot air, she put it under my blanket. And um, yeah, that basically kind of warmed me up a little bit. And I'm just like, my eyes wasn't open at this point, but I was like conscious. I was like, I'm so cold, I'm so cold. And I was like talking like this. I was like, I'm cold, I'm cold. Like trying to let them know, like I'm cold. And they was just like, give it one second, you'll warm up and stuff like that. And then my arm, it was in a, um, a sling, you know, when people have to hold their arm like up like that, it was in a sling. I'm just like, it hurts, like it hurts. And then, um, they was like, okay, I'm, they're going to give me something for that. And they did. And then, like, I think I, I tried to open my eyes, but it was just like, no. Go back to sleep, you up. So then I woke up again, and I'm just like, it still hurts. It still hurts. And she asked me, like, what's my pain on? I was like, it's like a six. And then 
she was like i don't want to give you more um pain medication because if i do you're gonna stop breathing because she said that because they already gave me pain medicine and she didn't want to give me like a overdose you know type of, of amount i'm just like okay and then she was like okay i'm gonna give you the like the pain medicine i'm like wait what I, this is exactly what I said. I'll say, wait, I don't want to stop breathing, though. Because she said, if she gave me too much, I would stop breathing. She was like, no, no, you're going to be fine. And so I guess I went back to sleep or whatever. And then I woke up again. She gave me some water. Back to sleep. I woke up again. And then she asked me what I wanted, like cranberry juice, apple juice, or whatever. I said cranberry juice. And then she brought me some saltine crackers. Bro, let me tell you. My my mouth was so dry and she gave me saltine crackers i'm thankful because i was very much hungry but it was like powder in my mouth eating the saltine crackers but luckily i had the juice there to like you know moisten my mouth up but like not really so then that was that after that um she was just like going through everything she gave me like papers and stuff talking about like what I did and like like what surgery I had got my hand is hurting right now Woo. okay it was just telling me like how everything went and like my follow-up date and stuff like that and it, she was talking to me about my medicine like my recovery time she was talking to me about everything this is my recovery nurse she was just talking to me about everything and everything that I need to do regarding my hand or whatever and then afterwards, I was like, you know, fully up and awake. She asked me how my pain was. I was like, hmm, it's actually a zero. Like, I could not feel nothing. So she walked me to the bathroom and like my legs was still a little bit wobbly and stuff. So she walked me to the bathroom. She walked me back. And then after that, she helped me get dressed and put all my stuff on. Then I was ready to go. They put me in a wheelchair downstairs. And luckily, they have a pharmacy in there. They rolled me down in a wheelchair. I picked up my medicine in the hospital which was good so i didn't have to go to a different pharmacy to get my medicine then basically after that i was done um my boyfriend obviously was downstairs to pick me up and um we just took an uber home and then i just chilled that's it this is how my hand looks oh yeah and she was telling me the the recovery nurse was telling me that i can't do anything with this hand mind you this is my left hand i am a lefty my dominant hand is my left hand so it's kind of hard i've been trying to do stuff without using my left hand but it's very much hard because the righty not it mm -mm, not it at all that's basically just like my story this is how my hand looks my hand probably look like um what color is this yellow a little bit because it's like the iodine i tried to wipe it off but it is not coming off and it's so sticky i don't know what else to say that's all there is to really say and then this hand over here, that's where they put the IV in for like the anesthesia and stuff. So yeah, um, I'm about to go lay back down because I'm tired. Then this whole talking thing made me tired. But yeah, thank you so much. It's not as bad as it may seem. Like yeah, I'm thing. nervous. <laughs> 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 no stitches. They um use glue to close you up. Hey, he'll check you out. Oh my okay goodness. Okay. I'm right outside of anything. Okay. Is he gonna like clean it up or something? So I'll just probably he'll probably have me just clean the cotton off. Uh -huh. But this is when like you're in the shower to really scrub that ink off. It takes a, a little bit. No, what about that? This glue, I think it dissolves on its own. Okay. Yeah. So that's just marking from surgery Ooh. and the. Um, glue that they use to close you up. Okay, thank you. But it looks good, okay? Okay. Okay, so hey guys, I'm back home. Today marks like a week of me getting my surgery. And I just wanted to come back and like show you like everything that happened afterwards. So I went to the doctor's office or whatever and then I went there she basically just unwrapped my hand or whatever. And then I talked to my the surgeon. He was just like, yeah, you just need to like move your wrist so you could get your range of motion back and stuff like that. And yeah. And then like after that, um, 
since I didn't have my cast on anymore, like my arm was flopping all over the place. And since I got surgery on my left hand, which is my dominant hand, I was more prone to use my left hand than my right hand. So whenever I have to do something, I would try to use my, my left hand and you know, it would hurt. It would hurt. It would hurt. <laughs> it would hurt. So I was just like, nope, can't do this. And I looked up like a right aid or a Walgreens near me and I got this brace. I think this is, this is an ace brace. And to be honest, I think I'm gonna just wear this when I'm like outside and stuff like that. Like when I'm in a house, I'm gonna just let my arm chill. But like when I'm outside doing stuff, um, I'm gonna wear this brace or when I'm sleeping because unconsciously I'ma just use my left hand because that's what like that's what's natural to me. So I don't wanna hurt myself in the process of that. I wanna like slowly get myself back to the way it was. My hand needs to snap back. That's all I gotta say about that. I think my mom is gonna go out and try to find me a softer one so I can move my wrist more because with this one, it's like a metal beam right here. So I can't really like bend my wrist. It will stay straight when I try to bend my wrist. But I'm gonna try to, you know, get back into like bending my wrist and moving it and stuff like that. So yeah, my mom is gonna try to find a softer, uh, wrist corset it's not a wrist corset but like you know a wristlet or whatever but yeah that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and comment down below more videos you would like to see from me thank you so much bye